Welcome or welcome back to The Budgeting Budgie. On this channel, I'm sharing our journey to becoming debt-free. My content includes weekly and monthly budgets, as well as check-ins, sinking funds, and debt updates. If this sounds like content that you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. On today's video, we're going to be doing my week four budget. I'm going to start today's video with the 100 envelope challenge, just to make sure everything in our week four budget does end up balancing. three budgeting video I did ask people to leave a comment of what envelope they'd like me to stuff next so I do two per week please leave your submissions down below in the comments of which envelopes you'd like me to open on our week five budget this is my um, 100 envelope challenge tracker I did get these numbers by the random number generator so when I do my week three check-in you will see if I actually was able to save this amount in the 100 envelope challenge. This is the sheet where I track. So this here, you can see that 47 and 87 have been highlighted. However, I haven't colored them in as we're unsure yet if I've actually been able to put that money aside. So I'll just get out my iPad and we'll go through the comments from last week's video and see what numbers we have to stuff today. Here, I've just put in my YouTube video and then here, I think you've just got to do the calculation. So three plus seven, you can go get YouTube comments, amounts of comments too. So hopefully both of these comments do have numbers. Now I'll just go over here and click start raffle. Okay, so the first comment we have is from Katie of the house. I'll leave her channel down below. So it says, let's go down the middle with number 50. I'm so happy you are doing this. Thank you so much, Katie, for participating. I really do appreciate it. So what I'll do quickly is just write number 50 on my log so I don't forget. Okay, perfect. Now let's see if the next one or the other comment that I got has a number on it as well. So this comment's from Kathy's Cash and Coin, and it says, new to your channel, let's go with $80. Perfect. Thank you very much, Kathy. I'll leave Kathy's channel down below, so you can also go and check her out as well. So I'll just write that down in my log. Once again, I'll just write this in grey lead here. 130. So I don't forget the amount, and also... When I actually stuff it, then that's when it will go into pen. Now that we're back here, so we will highlight number 50. And then we highlight number 80 as well. So that comes to 130. Please leave a comment below with the envelope you'd like me to stuff next. So there's only been four chosen so far. So any other numbers you can choose. Okay, now let's actually get into today's week four budget. We are at our week four budget. So I'll start off with our income. 2,491 dollars. So that's 2,491. Now down to housing. So for our mortgage, I want to put in 522 into our mortgage expense fund. $45 for rates. For water, we'll do $25 this week. Home insurance, $27. Electricity, $40. Gas, $15. Internet will also get $15. Whilst phones and subscriptions get $45. So let's go ahead and calculate this. Equals $734. Seven hundred and thirty-four. Okay, so for my spend this week, we're estimating zero because for the 100 envelope challenge, I will use my spending money in order to fund this. My husband's spending will get 115. Groceries in household gets their usual 150. Babies, so that's my pregnancy and my fur baby, they get $58 combined. Petrol, I'm currently doing $40 a week. 
transport. So this has gone down from 82 to 54 because $54 will get me to the goal um, money pot of 500. And that way I can stop funding this every week as well. So the patrol for the battery and the key gets its $80. So let's calculate this. So I've got my five plus 150 plus 58 plus 40 plus 54 plus 80. Equals 497 dollars for this week on to our debts so i will link our debt updates so that includes our debt confession and our update for november and i'll continue adding to that playlist any debt updates we have in the future so for gifts this week we're able to do 78 dollars hopefully because we took the extra money from transport and we want to put that onto gifts to try and get that to a zero dollar balance at minimum the January budget. Renovation loan gets, it's 450 this week, hopefully. Bank West, we want 125. For the Tucson, 120. And extra this week, we're looking at zero. Okay, so let's calculate this amount, shall we? 78 plus 450 plus 125 plus 120. Equals 773. Now for our savings. So I'll start off with the 100 envelope challenge. So that came to $130 this week. Please don't forget to put your numbers below in the comments and they will be drawn when I do my week five budget for December. Emergency fund is zero. That's just a reminder that that needs replenishing. So with our sinking funds, because I get an extra $50 in here, I'm going to take away $15 from that. Instead of funding 372, which is our normal amount, we will be doing 357. And I'll just calculate these. 137. $487 for this week. 487. Perfect. This is our overview. So I have these on our weekly budgets as well as our monthly budgets. So our income is estimated at 2,491. Our total housing costs for the week, $734. Our variable, $497. Our debt payments, $773. And our savings or sinking funds, 487. Just going to calculate this up. Hopefully, it does balance because I am doing this a little bit on the fly. Awesome. So that all balances. So what I'll do here is just put a line through. That's what our week four budget looks like. I'm very happy that this one will now be fully funded, and I won't have to hopefully touch that again in the future. Also excited that extra money is going towards gifts this week. Just back to the 100 envelope challenge quickly. Please leave your comment down below with which envelope you'd like me to stuff next week. If your comment is chosen, then I will shout you out and link your channel in the description box for the week five budget. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you so much for the ongoing support on my channel. I really do appreciate it. I've also just got this little guy here to cover a downlight. <laughs> And apologies for our skylight, but there's nothing much I can really do about that, unfortunately. The community has been absolutely amazing. And please stay tuned for our week three budget check-in, where you will see me hopefully colour in these guys and see how I went for the week. I feel like I've had a very spendy week, so we'll see how we add up at the end. All right, thank you very much for your time today. Have a lovely day. Bye.